This is a quick walkthrough of the 1863 Inn in Gettysburg. Uh, this is the 1863 room, so it's a specialty room. has a jacuzzi tub, which is why we got it. This particular room is room 208, which uh, seems to have some pluses and minuses. I'll get into that in a moment, because uh, like I said, this is just the first initial walkthrough. This is the front door area. Uh, you'll notice that there is a child-sized peephole, as well as a adult size one up there, so that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, we'll, we'll swing around to the left side of the door. Now the main reason you're choosing this room over one of the other rooms is because of the decor. Here you have the uh, chair rail and I always forget what that's called. It's not wainscoting, it's whatever that's called, wainscoting, whatever. Uh, here you have a small desk to work at and when I say small it is kind of small. Uh, you have an old style chair and I actually had one of those in my bedroom when I was growing up because I inherited all most of the antiques. So yeah, small room, it's got, or small room, small desk, has a little notepad there for previous guests. So they encourage you, at least in this room, to write down your feelings. Uh, you got a little uh, desk lamp there, which kind of has seen better days because that, that looks kind of flat. Uh, right here, you have a dresser with a, I say 32 inch TV, seems about right. Uh, so you got treasure drawers there coming across here. You got a little nightstand, or not exactly a nightstand, but you have a ice bucket, some cups, a mini fridge, like dorm size mini fridge, coffee maker, and some accoutrements for there. There is no microwave in this room, so keep that in mind. We're gonna come across here to the little uh, shelving nook. So you got a little place that you can put your shoes, a bag with the book bag. I mean, you can see I kind of filled it up and then there's a rack up there, and then right past that uh, decorative piece is a shelf that I have my laptop on. There is a little space over here, which we're kind of using for the beverage corner. Uh, up top there, you've got a decorative floral piece above what is the bathroom door, which I'll get into a little later. Uh, they do have these artistic pictures. I have no idea if these are copyrighted or not, so I'm just gonna scan those really quick. Of the area, swinging back around, you have Nightstand number one with the itty bitty garbage can, so eh. Uh, light with tassel and a little clock. This is your queen size bed. I'm gonna come into the corner here so you can see that. Queen size bed with wooden headboard, non slatted. Uh, warn you right now, watch out for the edge right here because this is not extraordinarily wide and we already got one injury with my wife uh, hitting her leg on the corner here. So over to this side, you have a nightstand, again with the ta uh, table lamp. This side has the phone, little spot there. Uh, there you have a chair, which both have sat in. It's not terribly comfortable, but it matches the decor. Uh, speaking of going back to the bed very quickly, we'll let you know how comfortable this setup is uh, after staying here a couple nights. Uh, above the bed, there's another floral arrangement in the corner there. There is a lamp, which again, once it's actually dark, we'll, we'll play with. So here is the concerns for this particular room. You are on the ground floor, and you can see the traffic. There's also a bench right in front of your window, and your air conditioning, which even though I have it on high and blowing constantly, you can still hear the outside traffic. Also. There is a specific sign right in front of the bench that says, please do not smoke here. So that tells me this could be a problem, even though all the rooms here are supposed to be non-smoking. And the last bit of concern, more possibly copyrighted photos, I don't know. Last possible bit of concern for me is that there is a basket with an ethernet cable. I have never been in a hotel room that has provided me with my own ethernet cable. The ethernet port is down there and I've tried getting onto the Wi-Fi, and while the place is booked up solid right now, eh, the signal's not great in this room. I'm just letting you know that. You may, if you need internet or don't have an unlimited data plan, may want to reconsider this. But let us go to the bathroom area because this is part of the reason that I chose this room over one of the other regular king bedrooms. And that is the bathroom, which is going to sound really, really echoey, but you know, bear with me. So, directly to the left of the door when you walk in, you have standard toilet, no toilet 
lid. Don't know why, but two paper towels, or two toilet paper rolls. There you have a sconce style light. There is wallpaper, which kind of is peeling a little bit there, so I don't, I don't really like wallpaper in bathrooms. Personal preference, just me. Uh, here you have two light switches that will turn on your exhaust fan, which is up top. This one is a lighted switch, just in case that turns on and off the lights. Like I said, if we scooch up this way, uh, that is an exhaust fan that you do have to trigger. The ceiling kind of looks like they just threw the plaster up there and did a little because I've done that in my place to track because I was being lazy. Uh, okay, there is a very large shower and this is actual all tile work. This is not like a rebath or bath fitter style thing. Uh, there you've got your removable, what looks to be a removable shower head. And then over on this side, that's what your handle looks like. We'll just kind of come down here. There, there definitely is a dip into the center here, so you can kind of feel it shift in a bit. But uh, aside from that, it is a big shower. So we're just gonna step out this way. I'm just gonna come back to where the toilet area is so I can stay out of the mirror there. So you've got a large mirror, you've got a vanity, nice vanity, you've got drawers in there. Top drawers are fake, but in these two drawers you get extra towels. These are empty, those are empty. Center you have an iron, and actually we'll just go in and show you. You've got an iron in there and some extra toilet paper if necessary. You've got a fancy sink, but uh, I have a feeling it does not come out that far. I've already hit my hands on the thing quite a bit. And yes, I'm nitpicking, but I'm letting you know uh, what to expect when you're here. And here, to the right of the sink, is the reason that we ended up choosing this one. It is a jacuzzi tub, uh, again with the fancy matching hardware. Now that definitely looks like it is a one-person tub, so you're probably not going to get two people in there unless you plan on getting very comfortable with each other, which you might. Uh, here you have a accent planter piece that is glowing back there. That's like a night light always on. You can't turn that off. And coming around, there is an iron. And there also is a full length mirror right there on the back of the door. So just opening that up. And yeah, that, that's kind of an overview of what the room looks like, like when we first got here. I'm uh, going to stay here for three nights. And we'll let you know things we liked and things we didn't like. And I'll let you know if those concerns I had are actual things that I should be concerned with. I really hope not. But if they are, I will let you know. All right, so here's the follow-up for the 1863 room. Bed itself, kind of firm, not terrible. Uh, pillows, pretty good. You'll notice the end of the bed here uh, has two towels lying on it. Well, that's because when it's dark in this room, and that's because you really only have the two table lamps and this guy over here that don't throw off a lot of light. We have the windows open right now. But when it's dark in here with just the lights, you kind of forget that's there and you cut across the bed because you see the white bread spread and nothing here because this is just a dark wood color like that. So we kind of took the uh, face cloths and put them there so we would stop running into it. My wife has a bruise on her inner thigh from hitting that. Uh, okay, so... This lampshade I know I made a remark about, it actually is designed to be flat like that. Now, there are a few things to caution you about with this particular room. We came here and it was full. The entire hotel was filled to capacity. With that being said, the Wi-Fi in this room particularly was unusable. Like we could, we could connect. I was getting like under a megabyte worth of uh, speed for download and then it would disconnect me every like two minutes. The Sunday when everybody left, you can get a Wi-Fi signal in this general area and then it's eh, passably usable. Anywhere else in here, not so much, but this, this little section right here close to the window because there's a repeater outside here and up that uh, gives the Wi-Fi signal, so that little cluster is good. The real only place you're gonna get it. Like I stated before, there is that uh, Ethernet cable, which the connection is down there. Now, if you have a tool, like I have linked up there, 
you'll be able to use that and create your own little Wi-Fi network. Sadly, I had loaned that to my mother, so I did not get to use that here. So it, it's something to be considered. The other thing to be considered, and we're gonna spin around right now, is uh, this, which is the outside. Uh, that is a main drag, and there you can see a truck going by. And trucks, for the most part, uh, continue driving by here until like 11, 12 o'clock at night, and then pick up again around three in the morning, so. If you're a light sleeper, that may be problematic. This particular room is on the ground floor and traffic's right there. It's centrally located, which is really nice because there's the gas station and then places to eat. Uh, you'll also see when people are loading up their cars, that's my car there, but when people are loading up their cars, they do it fairly close to your room. Uh, also, like I stated, this bench has a no smoking, no smoking sign. Uh, really didn't have too much of a problem with that, but people do smoke on the other floors here, so it does kind of trickle in, you can smell that. Only had people sit there once, which was a little weird. Uh, the other thing in this area in particular that I want to make mention of is the lacking of usable electrical outlets. This is the only one that is around, really. Uh, my wife did point out to me, after the first day of me complaining about it, that on this weird looking alarm clock, there are two extra electrical outlets as well as USB connectors. So if you have uh, power only cables, not data cables, you could charge your things off of these as well as this, but still only two and on this side, it, uh, I know it's a themed room and I like the theming, but maybe consider more electrical outlets in the future. Just, just throwing that out there. Coming into the bathroom itself, just really quickly, there's nothing uh, too much to talk about in here. Uh, do still stand by. I wish that came out a little further because it kept hitting my knuckles on that. Uh, the hot tub, if you finagle it, can be a two-person hot tub. The night lights, there is a night light over there which I unplugged at night and kept the door shut to kind of cut down on the uh, light pollution, so to speak. This guy here, you cannot turn off. And while well, the ambiance is nice while you're in here, if you like an absolutely dark room, that just, yeah, it's a little bright. But those are those are just splitting hairs, but really that's all we'll talk about. Bathroom, everything else in there is perfectly fine. Uh, but overall, the uh, 1863 room here at the 1863 Inn in Gettysburg, which originally was a Holiday Inn back in the 90s, because I remember this place uh, when I came here as a child. Uh, it, it's a nice room if you're looking for something a little different, a little ambiance. And, and I complain about the Wi-Fi, but maybe if you are coming to a place like this, uh, maybe you should be disconnecting. And the only reason I complain about it is because I kind of need internet to do my job. And even when I'm away on vacation, I'm still expected to do things. So if, if those little gripes don't bother you, I suggest the room highly. It is, you know, the decor is very nice and very fitting to the time period. And it really, it kind of reminded me of like visiting my grandparents because this, this is what their place reminds me of. So, 1863 in, 1863 room. It is room 208 on the first floor. I am fairly certain this is the only room of its type in this particular hotel. So, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below, and thanks for watching.